When bones are fractured or injured, our body has a fantastic ability to rebuild the damaged bone as if the break had never happened. However, certain situations such as cancer removal, traumatic accidents and genetic defects exceed the body's natural healing capacity. Traditional solutions include standardized metal implants, animal bones or pieces of human donor bone. Nevertheless, none of these is optimal as they can cause infections or can lead to rejection by the patient's immune system and they cannot perform most of the functions of healthy bones. The predictability of the surgical outcome is something that surgeons appreciate more than anything else. Therefore, a patient-specific approach can often be much more suitable than traditional standard solutions. Curavon is a research project where we propose patient-specific treatments in different orthopedic problems. We are developing a multi-scale strategy for modeling the musculoskeletal system that describes from the biomechanics of the whole organ to the mechanological processes at the cell level. All this would be impossible without the joint effort of all the members of the team, in which each one is analysing bone functionality at different length scales. David is working in musculoskeletal modelling to understand how muscles drive our bones. Hence, he aims to predict patient satisfaction after a bone implant, mainly focusing on total knee replacement. In this part of the Curavon project, we work on the development of a pre-planning tool for total knee osteoplastic surgery. I use musculoskeletal modeling and artificial intelligence to research the interaction between pre- and post-operation kinematics, taking into account contact forces, muscle forces, soft tissues and implant position as well. I further research correlations between patient-reported outcomes and biomechanical measures. Jonathan works on the fixing optimization of a bone implant primarily focusing on shoulder implants. He aims to reduce the movement between the bone and the prosthesis to increase the osseointegration integration and improve the stability of the implant. My PhD project focuses on uh, the design optimization of a 3D printed custom implant for reverse shoulder arthroplasty. To do that, I uh, will use both computational approach, like for example, finite element model and statistical shape model, and experimental approach, uh, to improve the current pre-planning phase. In particular, the main goal is to offer guidelines to the surgeons regarding, for example, the number of screws to use during surgeries, which type of screws to use, and in which position insert those screws to have a better implant stability. In the end, this will allow the patient to benefit from a better surgical outcome. Antoine is studying the bone healing process that occurs after a bone fracture with a focus on the design of fixation plates in the mandible. He aims to predict the best outcome for patients after bone surgery. My project focuses on developing bioresorbable and patient-specific bone plates for facial applications. I use finite element modeling to simulate the healing process of the bone as well as the biodegradation of the plates after surgery. These tools can be used to optimize the plate design in order to get the best outcome for the patient. Gabriele uses the latest advances in microfluidics-based 3D culture to study the role of mechanical stimulus in bone formation for bone tissue engineering applications. In fact, with the newest digital technologies, he aims to predict the integration of titanium scaffolds in bone tissue. The effect of mechanical stimulation on bone formation depends on both the individual response of the patient and scaffold mechanics. So thanks to the Curbone project, I'm using both in vitro and in silico models to enhance the also integration of patient-specific implants. Simon aims to design and fabricate novel biodegradable scaffolds to improve bone regeneration at the cellular level. The main idea of my project is to use new devices that we call bioreactor to reproduce the physiological condition to test the degradation process of our materials. Thanks to these new devices, we can drive the degradation process and then we can create digital tools to predict the long-term behavior of the degradation. Students who participate in Curabone receive training in both industry and academia. Thanks to this project, young researchers from different countries working all over Europe are being supported. The University of Zaragoza recruited two of them and materialized the industrial partner, hired the other three.
Cuda Bone is a project to develop individual specific treatments for bone injuries at different length scales, from cells to our bones and muscles. Knee replacement, shoulder implants, mandible plates and bone scaffolds are different kind of implants that have been analyzed. After Cuda Bone, ESR researchers will continue their career and bring research results and competences into society as future leaders. This project is an industrial doctorate funded by the European Commission. We would like to thank the rest of companies that host our students during the development of the project. Anybody from Denmark, Robert Jones and Agnes Han Orthopedic Hospital from United Kingdom and Hospital of Blesa from Spain. In addition, other academic institutions have participated in the project, the National University of Ireland in Galway and Cayo Leuven in Belgium. If you want to know more about our work, you can visit our website or follow us on Twitter, Facebook or LinkedIn.